So in this video, we'll be going over a frequently asked question, which concerns uh, ports automatically turning on and off. So these binary outputs right here. Um, and this arises in two common scenarios. Either a user wants to, for example, uh, turn on a binary output port immediately after startup. For example, um, he or she may want to use port three to turn it on immediately after the program starts. Or another common scenario is that, for example, a user is using a profile and they're wondering why a port turns on or off automatically on program startup or when you close the program. So for example, here you can see that I have this port number 10 on and I have this port number 11 off. So for example, let's say we want to switch those two around. So I turn this off and I turn this on, right? So I now have port number 11 on, port number 10 off. Now let's reload the application and see what happens. All right, so I've reloaded the application and uh, we can now go back into our diagnostics window right here to see what happens. So as you can see, the ports have flipped back around. So number 10 is on and number 11 is off again, despite us having switched them before closing the application. So how does this happen? Well, if we go into our settings and into our PLC tab, here we have our software PLCs, which are home to a number of handlers. So for example, you have the homing handler that deals with the homing, you have your oil, uh, counter. So for example, if you'd like to know when to switch your oil, uh, you have a pop-up handler. And uh, these are just handlers that are always running in the background. Um, and here you have this handler init and handler exit. So handler init is responsible for running at the very start of your program and handler exit is responsible for running at the very end of your program. So before your program is finally closed, this will be the last thing that will be ran. So here in handler init, we have this line right here, which says port set 10. And uh, what this is, is it sets the out 10, so our port 10 on. This is our port set command right here. So for example, we would like to delete that and maybe would like to use another port. So let's say port maybe 12 to set it on every time our program is started for whatever reason. So this will be port set 12, save all build all. And now we can go into our handler exit and we see here that this port clear command exists. So this will clear your output 11. So we'd like to maybe remove that entirely. Now we can save all, build all. And at this point, we can reload the application and see what happens. All right, folks, so we have reloaded the application once again. And now if we go into our diagnostics window, we can see that I have this port 10 on and this port 12 is now on as well. So why is the port 10 still on? Well, it's because we never turned it off. Uh, it's because we never went back into the diagnostics window. But if let's say I turn it off now and I turn this one off, by the logic of the handler init and handler exit behavior, when we reload this application again, this will be off, this will be off, and this will be on. So at this point, uh, you can use the software PLC handlers to uh, run some simple commands uh, or perhaps more complicated commands when you're starting and closing your MyCNC application. Thank you for watching. Please visit our documentation at docs.pv-automation.com for more information.